All right, so we're doing a easy trap. So we're gonna replace this P trap with a easy trap with a float switch, uh, as well as a blowout valve. So uh, first off, just make sure that I got everything I need. I got my blowout valve, I got my easy trap, I got my glue and my primer. Uh, I always do paper towels, cardboard, something underneath that primer uh, because it's purple and it gets everywhere. I already got some right here. So easiest thing to do, a lot of people overthink um, PVC because uh, I don't know why actually, but people overthink it. Uh, I just start cutting realistically. Let's get the old stuff out. I know what I'm cutting out of there. So I got that out of the way. And then I'll just go bit by bit, right? I just cut out my P-trap. So let me uh, put in my P-trap and then I'll work on my blowout valve. This is good to put under that, uh, that primer as well. There you go. Alright, so first thing we got to do is I'm going to primer and glue this to where it needs to be. So this is going to fit directly onto here. So I'm going to take out the float switch, set that off to the side. Now I'm going to take my primer, coat the inside. This stuff is super messy too, it gets everywhere, so just be careful. Coat the outside, and then coat this as well. Right here. Alright, and then same thing with my glue. Just make sure it's nice and straight. That's looking good. All right, and then next I'm gonna do this side now. I like to use this as kind of my final joint. If it works out, I like to use that as my final joint. So, got this, that's gonna fit directly onto there. So just repeat the process. Primer, you can see it dripping. Don't want that to stain any concrete. There, and then repeat the process. Okay, the glue. Perfect. Make sure that's nice and straight. Golden. Cool. And this. So I see I'll need a little bit of room there, but I'm going to cut this out. And I'm going to do my, uh, my blowout valve right here. So it should, uh, should work out. Ton of 
junk inside that line. So um, when placing the blowout valve, I, I mean, I could realistically do it anywhere. It'd be much easier if I did it way over there. Um, but with all these elbows here, I want that blowout valve to be before as much, as much of that as possible, uh, just to clear out those lines. So here, I may have to add some more PVC, another coupling or something, but um, I don't yet, because I don't know how this is gonna fit in there. So I'm gonna hook this up directly to here. Same thing, primer, primer, primer. turn that valve a few times. I want to make sure that there's no glue in there uh, that would glue that valve shut because that would kind of suck. Defeat the whole purpose. All right. All right. And then now is where I take a second and kind of plan things out a little bit better. So... dry fit that there I see that I'm still short so I'll go ahead and add a little uh, little coupling here to give this a little bit of uh, extra length it's fitted with glue these fittings will fit in a little bit more and I think that could actually be perfect right. I'll just go piece by piece So the best thing with the PVC stuff is just, I mean, just start, right? Um, you know, you can look at it for so long and you're trying to do it all in your head and it doesn't doesn't really help. Uh, you just gotta cut into it and you'll, uh, you'll end up making it work. Let's 
it's going to line up perfect. I'll take that. So here, I'm just going to primer both sides. Easy peasy. That's pretty much it. Uh, we still gotta wire it up, but not too bad. All right. So this float switch. All right. So this float switch comes with uh, this wire. And it's just two wires here. Oh, I'm gonna fit that where it needs to be. And usually there's a knockout on the side or something already for the existing thermostat wires, which there is here. So I'm just gonna fit it right through with them. I'll pull that through. You wanna leave a little bit of slack uh, at the top so that if we need to open this up, we can. If it's pulled tight, you know, it's just, it's not clean and uh, it could be a little tough, so. Tuck it behind all the existing wires there. this extra wire uh, hanging out so I'm just gonna cut, cut a piece off This one's a little different. Um, what do we have? We have one, two, R and C. So not a traditional thermostat, traditional setup, but you still have R. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take R out. We'll take one of these wires. And we're going to wire nut that. A little pull test. It's holding. And this one is now going to go into that R terminal. So the way it's gonna work is if that float raises, uh, that now cuts power to R, right? So um, from the board, we have 24 volts going through this wire here, through the float switch, back out the float switch to this, which goes now to the thermostat. So if that float switch gets raised, that breaks the, uh, the voltage, and then we know that there's an issue, an overflow, and um, we come out here to fix it. So. That is pretty much it. 
uh, the rest is done and, and looking good.